Good afternoon, everybody. It's Thursday, uh, middle of June. Forget exactly what day it is, but we're looking at about 10 to 2 in the afternoon. It's time for another shop update. I haven't been able to make a video since I did the cable TV video because this place has just been a manic house. But I do have a few minutes now, so I'm going to give everybody a quick update. As you can see, there's not much going on. It's just I'm charging. I have three batteries for this camera, and all three of them were dead. So I'm charging them now. Two of them are done. The last one is getting there. Um, there is one laptop over here. It's an Asus laptop. Um, the customer actually doesn't remember what was the matter with it because this was a job I'd actually been waiting on for several months. So I'm having her come in tomorrow night so I can go over to the machine with her and have her take it back and look for any further issues. Um, there's also a cell phone in here right now. That's a security job, so I'm not going to discuss it on video. Um, one thing that I would like to say is a big thank you to all my subscribers and everybody that watched the cable TV video. That video went nuts. I, the last time I looked on the <coughs> analytics for that video, it had 117 views. And this, this was only in a matter of a few days. I'm actually going to take some time now and do a little follow-up to that video. Because one thing that I don't know if I mentioned or remember to mention is that it can be hard at times to get the text to come out to your location, the text from Spectrum. I had a customer who had, he had called me having an internet problem with dropping internet. And after some questioning by me, I then find out that his cable TV was all pixelated. And those of you that have digital cable TV know what I'm talking about. As soon as he told me that, I knew that he had a much bigger issue and Spectrum was going to have to come out. And I told him to call Spectrum. Well... It took a couple of months to get Spectrum out there because they kept insisting that it wasn't hit, it wasn't a problem with the house. They couldn't find anything wrong with their remote signal checks on site. Nothing wrong at the house, nothing wrong at the house. In the meantime, the problem is slowly getting worse and I said to him, look, I want you to call Spectrum back, and this time I want uh, you need to absolutely insist that a technician come out out on site to your house and check everything thoroughly. Well, he did, and the technician found some bad cabling and a bad splitter. And you guys remember my thoughts on splitters from the last video. Um, basically, you should not use a passive splitter anywhere in your coax network if you want good quality signals. And the guy did find a splitter. He removed the splitter and corrected the cabling issue that he found. And as soon as that problem was resolved everything went away moral of the story is it may take a little bit to get a spectrum tech out on, out on site I also heard 
And this was from somebody up in more north of me, up in Litchfield, that who has Optum that the techs charge eighty dollars to come out there if they don't find anything. Um, that's a little steep considering that they need to come out there and do a signal check, but. The problem is the travel and the cost of fuel, so you basically have to have the techs come out because they had, the reason the tech has to come out is because they have a signal meter that they can attach to a coax line and they can tell what the, what the signal strength is. I don't have a signal meter. I have a feeling that once this video goes up in the groups that I put this video in on Facebook, there's going to be a lot of people looking, asking me to please get a signal meter. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, I'm up to 62 subscribers now. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed. As always, feel free to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, likes are very important on YouTube because they can increase the number of views on a video that has a lot of likes. So please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, tell me what's the matter with it so I can fix it for the next one. I'll see everyone soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.